Since Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the Sun, we have discovered the terrestrial planet around it. This makes it the closest exoplanet we will ever find. Gleaming lights that could alter everything were just discovered in the finest photograph of Proxima b. We now have a glimpse of this Earth-sized planet, which is only four light years away, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, which has completely surprised astronomers. Strange lights appeared in Webb's photograph, perhaps from earthly cities. We might be about to demonstrate that we are not alone, so let's get ready for whatever might happen next. Is it an illusion of nature or alien lights? Imagine looking up at the night sky and knowing that, only a few light years away, something incredible, possibly life-altering, is taking place. Because of the amazing James Webb Space Telescope, scientists are currently experiencing that kind of enthusiasm in response to a freshly acquired image of Proxima b. This isn't just any flying rock in the cosmos, though. The planet is about the same size as Earth and is only four light years distant. The fact that it is located precisely in the Goldilocks zone of its solar system, where temperatures are ideal for liquid water, makes it an even more intriguing contender for possibly supporting life. One feature, a mystery, in the data has the potential to alter our understanding of life as we know it. But let's take a moment to stand back. At a distance of about 254 trillion miles, this fascinating exoplanet is circling Proxima Centauri, the star that is closest to our solar system. Although that is a significant amount, in terms of space, it is essentially our next-door neighbor. Imagine being able to view a place with mountains, oceans, and possibly even an extraterrestrial civilization peering back at you from across those trillions of miles. Isn't that an exciting prospect? And scientists are giddy over that very thing. Even though the James Webb Space Telescope is still in its early stages of exploration, it has already amazed us. The sharp eye of this telescope has seen what appear to be dazzling lights on the nearby planet, lights that are similar to the glow from our cities. These are consistent, well-organized patterns that suggest something more intentional than flares or sporadic outbursts of starlight. Whether these lights are an indication of intelligent life is the question that everyone is trying to answer. Could it be that, like us, some highly developed beings are out there forming societies and illuminating the night? It is difficult to resist getting caught up in the enthusiasm as we stand on the cusp of potentially altering our understanding of the cosmos. It is understandable that scientists are in awe. Never before have we come this close to demonstrating that we are not alone. Imagine stars 7 trillion miles away that might be brilliant enough for our sophisticated telescopes to discern their brilliance. They appear to have been waiting for us to catch up and create the technology necessary to detect them. Everyone is rethinking the entire issue of whether or not we are alone in light of these lights. Is there someone out there, really? Perhaps they are more developed than we are, or perhaps they share our curiosity about the cosmos. According to astronomer David Kipping, who has been researching this exoplanet, the planet appears to be very complicated. Unlike other stony planets, it behaves differently. It has an interaction with its star, Proxima Centauri, that is unlike anything we have observed, rather than merely absorbing sunlight and releasing heat. And just what we need to make sense of it all is the James Webb Telescope. We can see that we have only just begun to explore the planet's atmosphere since it is detecting thermal emissions, which provide us with a clue as to what may be occurring there. The James Webb Telescope's capacity to observe infrared is one of its greatest advantages. The James Webb makes it look easy to spot faint, far-off lights in the deep blackness of space, something that other space telescopes find difficult. Our best option is to verify whether these city-like lights are real because of this. Consider the implications of that. We are discussing possible evidence of sentient life, organized civilizations that might be communicating with us without even realizing we are observing. Because of the way it revolves around its star, this enigmatic world has a distinct day and night cycle. The planet is tidally locked, which means that one side is always facing the star and enjoys perpetual sunshine, while the other side is stuck in perpetual darkness. Extreme temperature variations result from this. 
If an atmosphere exists, it might help make one side habitable rather than scorching while the other freezes. Additionally, if an atmosphere exists, it implies the possibility of liquid water, which, you got it, indicates the possibility of life. Next, the telescope will explore that atmosphere in greater detail. Researchers are looking for signs of life, such as oxygen, methane, or water vapor, in the atmosphere of this intriguing planet. It will require extensive research and a great deal of time, but that is the purpose for which this technology was designed. Although the James Webb Telescope was not designed with the purpose of detecting planet atmospheres, it is proving to be a very effective instrument in this regard. And it is worth every second if there is even a chance of discovering an atmosphere full of these ingredients that provide life. However, the discovery of these interesting gases by the James Webb Telescope is not definitive. More research, more observations, and even more sophisticated telescopes will be required. The extremely large telescope, ELT, which is scheduled to go online in a few years, is a positive development. The ELT will be even more capable of more detailed analysis of far-off atmospheres. Imagine being able to see detailed images of what is occurring on planets light years away, rather than simply faint indications of gases. Scientists are aiming for it, and it has the potential to alter our understanding of the cosmos. The more we discover, the more unexpected Proxima b is. The James Webb Telescope's ability to examine Proxima b up close has changed everything. More has already been accomplished than most scientists could have imagined. It has been detecting hints that may provide information about how stars, galaxies, and possibly entire solar systems were formed. More significantly, though, it is providing us with a preview of what may be our best chance to discover extraterrestrial life. The lights on this fascinating companion in space might be reflections, natural occurrences, or possibly something we don't fully comprehend. However, everyone is excited about the possibility that it is a civilization. Our understanding of how life could flourish in environments that don't resemble Earth is still developing. For instance, consider extremophiles. These are microscopic organisms that can survive in extremely severe circumstances, such as boiling temperatures or extremely acidic ones. Who knows what may be conceivable on a planet like this, with its extremes of heat and cold, assuming life can exist there. Life is difficult, and if we have learned anything from studying Earth, it is that, given the opportunity, living things can adapt to nearly anything. And so we return to those fascinating lights and this mysterious world. Are they an indication of something? Perhaps they are proof of a species that, like life on Earth, has adapted. Perhaps we are observing a natural wonder that we do not yet fully comprehend, rather than life itself. In any case, everyone is talking about it. There are countless mysteries in the universe, and this exoplanet is the most recent to pique our interest. The unexpected temperature differences, the peculiar lights we are witnessing, and the unusual interaction this close world has with its star are all parts of a puzzle we are only now starting to piece together. There is more out there than we ever thought thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. It serves as a reminder of how big the universe is and how full of mysteries we can hardly fathom. The potential this neighbor offers are exciting, even if it doesn't end up being a second Earth. All we can do for the time being is keep searching, keep wondering, and keep holding out hope that the answers will soon be found. The universe is much larger than this nearest Earth, which is four light years away. However, what we can learn from this local system could fundamentally alter our perspective of the world. This planet has a slightly greater radius and around 1.2 times the mass of Earth. It is neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to possibly exist because it is located in the habitable zone, often known as the Goldilocks zone. Since liquid water is thought to be a necessary component of life as we know it, this idea is essential to the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Proxima Centauri, the host star of this intriguing planet, is a red dwarf. Although red dwarfs are smaller and colder stars than our sun, they make up over 70% of all stars in the galaxy with remarkable frequency. 
This is noteworthy because the number of possible habitable planets in our galaxy alone would rise dramatically if life could exist around a red dwarf. The rocky cousin Proxima Centauri orbits far closer to its star than Earth does to the Sun because it emits significantly less heat and light than our Sun. Because of its closeness, the planet is more susceptible to radiation and solar outbursts, which could make it harder for any potential life forms to survive. However, if this exoplanet has a thick atmosphere or a magnetic field, it could protect the planet from these negative impacts, giving life a chance. An essential tool for researching worlds like this one is the James Webb Space Telescope's capacity to detect infrared light. We can learn about a planet's temperature and atmosphere composition via infrared radiation. This is especially useful when attempting to determine whether a planet may support life. The dramatic temperature variations brought on by this rocky body's tidal lock on its star would be lessened if it had an atmosphere. A planet that is tidally locked has a perpetual day side and a permanent night side because one side of the planet is always facing the star. Without an atmosphere, it would be cold at night and scorching during the day. If there is an atmosphere, it could aid in heat distribution and bring about more temperate weather conditions worldwide. In order to significantly improve the likelihood that this nearby world may be habitable, scientists are hoping that it may have an atmosphere. When a planet moves in front of its star, scientists can detect certain compounds like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor by examining the light that travels through the planet's atmosphere. Since their existence may be an indicator of biological activity, these are referred to as biosignatures. We anxiously await the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of this special neighbor, which has already shown that it is capable of studying exoplanet atmospheres. Every new finding on Proxima b advances us in our fascinating quest to unravel the molecular hints of extraterrestrial life. A key idea in the hunt for extraterrestrial life is biosignatures. The discovery of these chemical compounds in the atmosphere of an exoplanet may be the first indication of extraterrestrial life. These molecules are created by living things. For instance, oxygen is produced by photosynthetic life on Earth, and its high concentration is a clear sign of life. Similar to this, methane is frequently created by biological processes, however geological action can also produce it. It would be especially convincing to combine various biosignatures, such oxygen and methane, since it would be hard to explain their existence without life of some kind. Even more fascinating is the prospect of intelligent life on Proxima b. There has been conjecture that the lights picked up by the James Webb Space Telescope might be signs of an extraterrestrial civilization because they mimic the lights generated by earthly cities. Naturally, there are a lot of reasons why these lights could exist, and scientists are careful not to draw hasty conclusions. They might be natural occurrences that we are still learning about. But there's no denying the excitement of the possibility that we are witnessing the lights of an alien city. If this were the case, it would indicate that we are not alone in the cosmos and that there are other sentient entities out there who might have similar questions. Humanity would be significantly impacted if intelligent beings were discovered. It would alter our position in the cosmos and demonstrate to us that we are not alone. As we learn from a highly developed civilization, it might also result in new technology and ways of thinking. But there are difficulties as well. It would take years for a message to reach from Earth to Proxima b and return, making communication over the great distances of space extremely challenging. There are ethical issues as well. How do we go about making contact with a civilization that is not our own? Is it safer to watch from a distance, or should we even try to get in touch with them? If there is proof of intelligent life, humanity will have to answer these questions. By examining other planets and stars, the James Webb Space Telescope is also assisting us in comprehending Proxima b's larger context. It is helping us to understand the prevalence of possibly habitable worlds. Along with thousands of other exoplanets, Proxima b's discovery indicates that planets are widespread in the galaxy. Numerous of these planets may have conditions conducive to life because they are located in the habitable zones of their stars. The more we discover, 
the more it appears that there may be other worlds similar to Earth and that our solar system is not the only one. This search will be advanced by the extremely large telescope, which is scheduled to go online in the coming years. It will be able to investigate exoplanet atmospheres in even more detail than the James Webb Space Telescope because to its enormous mirror. It will be able to search for more subtle indications of life and pick up weaker signals. We will be closer than ever to knowing if we are alone in the cosmos thanks to the extremely large telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, which will provide us with an unparalleled picture of far-off worlds. One aspect of a larger endeavor to comprehend our place in the universe is the hunt for life on Proxima b. People have been gazing up at the stars and wondering if there are other people out there for thousands of years. We have envisioned innumerable situations, ranging from harmonious cohabitation to interplanetary warfare. We now have the technology to start addressing that topic for the first time. We now have the means to explore the cosmos in previously unthinkable ways thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope and other cutting-edge observatories. We still have a lot to learn, as evidenced by the finding of Proxima b and the potential for life there. We still don't fully understand the vastness of the universe. Every new finding tests our comprehension of how things function and poses fresh queries. Even if Proxima b may not be a second Earth, it is a step in the right direction. It serves as a reminder that there are countless opportunities in the universe and that we have only just begun to discover all of its wonders. Imagine a day in the future when we have discovered numerous planets similar to Proxima b, proving that life exists in the cosmos and possibly even establishing communication with an extraterrestrial civilization. Though it may sound like science fiction, we are actually heading toward this future, one discovery at a time. At the front of that expedition is the James Webb Space Telescope, whose findings are helping us comprehend our position in the universe. What if we got in touch? Should mankind react? Post your comments below. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment for more in-depth explorations of the universe's secrets.